Hey guys, Kelly here with the Salty Lake Mercantile in Kentucky. And this is part one of a three part series on painting your cabinets at home using Wise Owl One Hour Enamel. I'm gonna show you all the tools. These are gonna be short, quick videos. So if you have questions, you can feel free to hit us up. We're on Facebook under the Salty Lick. We are on Instagram under the Salty Lick. And we're also on our website under www.thesaltylick.com. So feel free to hit us up if you have any questions. But otherwise, let's get started. We're gonna start with the tools that I'll be using. So step one is prep. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we do a good job with prep. So I'm gonna tilt you down and then I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to get a good prep, to get a good base. So to get started, you are going to want to use a fairly strong degreaser to make sure that you get rid of all the oils and residues that come from your fingertips, that come from cooking, um, that come from hair products if you're doing your bathroom. So what I typically use, and you can get this at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, it's fairly inexpensive, but it's LA's Totally Awesome. I dilute that with some water. You're gonna want a sponge or a cleaning cloth of some sort, a toothbrush or maybe a fingernail brush, and oddly enough, you're gonna want a flat tip screwdriver. You're gonna to want to remove all of your hardware and pull your cabinet doors off. So that's where we are right now. So what I'm gonna do first is this is, let me reload this. I have the LA's Awesome and some warm water. Now the LA's Awesome is a little bit soapy. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that once you do wipe your cabinets down, that you rinse them really well. And I would say a couple good rinses at least. And you're going to do this before you scuff sand. So we're going to also scuff sand. And this cabinet has already been cleaned, but I want to give you an idea of what you're looking to do in the steps. So you're going to get that wiped down pretty well. You're going to make sure that your toothbrush or your fingernail brush is also dipped in the LA's Awesome. And you're going to want to hit all of the corners. And this is just to make sure that you don't have any hidden oils trapped in there. Hit around your hardware because you'll also find that that's where a lot of residue lies, anywhere where oils can get trapped or where your hands touch a lot. Then you're gonna take this screwdriver, this flat tip screwdriver, and you're gonna run this along the edges. Now I've already done this and you're not wanting to scratch the surface. You're just running to pick up any buildup residue. And there's actually a little bit um, on the corner here even after these have been cleaned. But when I first did it, it was amazing the gunk that this was pulling. So you don't want this on your cabinets, of course, because it's going to cause your paint job to separate. So I obviously didn't do a very good job the first time, so it's a good thing I'm doing it a second time. So all around the edges, anywhere where the cabinets meet or gunk can get trapped. And that's the basics of the cleaning outside of rinsing. So once this is done, you're gonna to wanna to rinse this down and you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. So once it's fully dry, you're going to scuff sand. Um, I usually use, this is 100 grit. I usually use about a 120, but I'm not gonna show you on the surface. And all you're doing is you're just dulling the surface. So you're not sanding down to bare wood because you don't want to do that. You just want to give the paint and the primer some grip. So a light sanding, and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna wash one more time, and that's just to make sure that there's no residue left. And once you're done with that, you're gonna let that fully dry, and then we're gonna move on to the primer portion, which is step two. So I hope you guys come back and join me for the second portion of this, where I show you how to prime using Wise Owl Primer. You guys have a great day and happy painting.